happy? A return to footy after another break and even better to get the result as a win. How did you see it this afternoon? It's a bit of relief. <laughs> um, look, we, you know, we had moments of the game where you know we were you know we were sort of the momentum wasn't in our going our way like I thought they played really well in the, the first you know quarter and a bit and we were able to get some momentum back and we you know we, we squandered some opportunities in front of goal which didn't help help that but I, I felt you know through the, the second and third quarters I thought we dominated the game and you know our ability to uh, you know finish our work off was was really inconsistent and we, we you know really squandered some opportunities but um, yeah, they, they got the they got the momentum back in that that four, start of the fourth quarter and did some damage really quickly. And to our players' credit, they they dug in and um, showed some really good leadership. You spoke to us midweek about preparation and, yeah. and how important it was after the break. Obviously, we had the experience coming back against Richmond, yeah. a close game at the end of that one being a draw. Did you learn much from that match in particular, especially in the dying stages when it was really close and congested and this time getting a result as a win? Yeah, I reckon it was similar. Like It was more around what the time off actually does to our players, you know, and... Um, like the momentum changes is probably a reflection of the consistency of not training and not playing and you know it's pretty it's funny you know that we had a draw against Richmond and then today it could have gone either way so you know these COVID layoffs uh, challenge us in a in a lot of a lot of different ways don't they so you know and a lot of fatigue and all that sort of stuff sets in so yeah it was um w what we learned was we we knew the game was going to be close and we knew that there was um you know going to be periods in the game where we were, weren't really sure which way it was going to go so um yeah no it was i i, I felt that they you know, our leaders really stood up late and got the job done, which was which is pleasing. And of course, can't talk, uh, can't go over this video without talking about Corey Rich, 50th game, milestone yeah. game, comes in and kicks the winning goal yeah. and, and gives us the win. Talk about his influence in the side that you had throughout the year and, and also in this game as well, particularly standing up in that second half. Yeah, well, he's uh, he's an important part of our team. He's a leader. You know, he's been around the club two years now, two three years, and you know what what he what he does bring he bring, brings a lot of attributes to our our club you know from a uh, from a um, you know a speed and a, you know a real hardness point of view so he does he's got some attributes that really really help you you know as a footy club um, but today he I mean he was pretty quiet early but yeah. He, he found a way late, and I spoke to him at half time about. And a lot of our players, they weren't having great days, but there was four or five of them that had great moments in the second half, which, you know, at the end of the day, helped us win the game. But um, you know, full credit to Coburg, and I, I should mention them because they, you know, they, they've been challenged in a way that we we have as well in regards to COVID, and you know, I wouldn't like to be sitting on the other side of it because it's, um, yeah, it'd be a pretty pretty hard pill to swallow because they they were. You know, they were pretty good today, so. Great win today. Let's keep it up for the rest of the season. Thanks, mate.